Hello, welcome to Imperial Forge Painting. I am your host, The Painting Cripple. Today we are going to be working more on our Surfing Witch. See, I got hat and most of the hair done. So, the red hair has uh, been a little problematic, but we're going to keep going. So, there we go. See if I can get this set up here. There we go. Not too bad. One thing I want to tell any new painters out there, though, that you want to look out for is don't worry about how it looks while you're doing it. It's always going to look worse before it looks better. Because when I stopped painting last time, I was pretty happy with the hair. And now I'm really not. I'm seeing things that are just not right with it. And we might have to wait for the beautiful assistant to get home so I can dry brush. Because the way I have to set up the paint, I need some, I need her to put her finger here so I can dry brush areas of the model. And I did not have to, I did not plan on having to dry brush any of the orange. I was going to dry brush with a yellow color to make it look more natural in highlights. But come see, come see. I'll still dry brush with a yellow color. But I want to get some of this, these darker spots where the orange is not, is pretty translucent, more orange. And these are more in the crevices of the hair, which will also probably get covered up by the wash. So... Being that I mainly painted Space Marines before, didn't have a lot of hair because I preferred Space Marines with helmets to uh, the Space Wolves. So doing hair is kind of a learning experience or painting hair for me. Yes, the Orc Beauty had hair, but I made her hair black. And since I base coat in black, if something didn't look quite right with the top coat of paint, it didn't show very well.
in this model's case as well um, if I was painting this before I had the stroke and only had one hand I probably would have painted it separately I wouldn't have had the hand there she would have been painted in pieces and then put together You'll see a lot of painters doing that. I used to myself. And then some painters put the whole model together and paint it no matter what. And that's okay too. Whatever works best for you. It's always good to try different things, but in the end, you need to figure out work, what works best for you. Knock my camera down. But in the end, when you're painting minis, you really have to definitely try new things and new techniques. Um... new styles of paint you know they have speed paints and contrast paints um i don't use those personally uh mainly because contrast paints are really for a style called slap chop that i don't utilize and it's not that it doesn't have its appeal it can get the model done a lot faster and still give you really good results I just like taking my time and being patient with it and come see come saw but it definitely has its uses uses if you want to paint a like a large army quickly then slap chop style is probably the best for you and there are plenty of videos on how to do it so I'm not going to bore you with that take, especially since it's not a style I utilize. Um, so I really don't wouldn't know what I'm talking about as far as how to do it, because I don't do it. Oy vey. Oh, she's going to be a problem. Yes. Okay. Now, to do her skin, I chose Elven Flesh as opposed to the other flesh colors. I just think this is a more natural flesh tone than some of the darker tans that they have. Especially because she has red hair. And if you've ever known any real redheads, you know that most of them, I won't say all because it's never all, but most redheads have fairly fair skin. Maybe a good steeple brush, I could put some freckles on her with a darker tone, but I really don't have a good steeple brush.
and haven't gotten any comments from anybody over uh, what color you guys think I should make the bathing suit top on her. So we're just going to have to wing it when we get to that part, I guess. Oops, got a little flesh on the short. That's okay, I kind of like it. Kind of makes it look like she's got a little muffin top. Which is a little more realistic than the perfectly sculpted abs. Remember I said way back on my first uh, or second video, don't remember exactly which, you get a little paint where it's not supposed to be, it's okay, don't panic. It's paint. You can paint over it. Especially if it's a lighter color. Now this is a problem with a lot of 3D printed resin minis. I don't know if I can get in close enough to show y'all, but I'm gonna try. If you look, come on camera, focus. Sit down part with only having a phone. If you look at her legs, and on her stomach there that I painted, uh, you might be able to see, I'm not sure you could, uh, not sure you could see, but there are some ridges there from where they had handled her before she was completely dried. And that's nothing against the people who printed her up. It happens. Because these, because they have to handle them, put them under the UV light to completely dry them. It does make it a little difficult to use washes and such because the washes will get into those ridges. But sometimes you just have to deal with. It. Like I said before, you don't have to worry in this about being perfect. Anything you think you've messed up, you can fix. Okay. Like we just had some paint spill onto the jeans. Short, her jean shorts. And like I said, that's fine. It's paint. I can paint over it. And if it makes the blue I use on the shorts a little lighter, that's fine too. Happy coincidence, it landed on her butt where it would naturally be worn a little more. So if it makes the blue a little lighter, it's just worn from sitting. I can understand putting jewelry on a sculpt. What I really don't get though is why a lot of sculptors who do this, and I am not talented enough on any way, shape, or to be a sculptor, but sculptors, please. All right. In the case of like bangle bracelets where traditionally there's multiples, I get it. 
but there's no need to put a watch and a bracelet on the same wrist. I mean, at that point, you're just asking for people to complain about it. Oh, I miss having my other hand where I could just pick this up and look directly close to it. I do, I do, I do. Around her boots. I've also been debating what color to make her boots. Uh, because of the broomstick, I was going to make a brown. I didn't want the boots to be brown, but they will be two different color browns. I think I am going to go with that. To do a brown boot. Now, I am all for supporting your local hobby store and going there and picking up minis to paint. However, if you want something that they won't have or you think isn't out there, I will say this. Check Etsy. I have found so many cool minis on Etsy where I found the Orc Beauty and this witch, actually. There are plenty of people out there with 3D printers that have Etsy stores that are putting out a ton of schools, cool sculpts. And models. I think last time I checked my Etsy cart, it was up to like almost $600 of just minis that I saw there and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I want to try to paint that. In hindsight, this is a model I probably should have primed in white, I think. But, it's okay.
Now, I can hear what you're thinking. If you're like, why are you being so worried about not painting the bikini when you just said it's paint, you can paint over it? That's right, it is, and we did get a little paint on the bikini. But, the more defined you can keep what colors you're painting where, the better off you'll, you'll be and the easier time of it you'll have is what I've found. So while I'm not worried if I get a little paint where I don't want it, I don't actively try to put paint where I don't want it. I hope that makes sense to you. Well, we'll fix that when we do the boots. Because boots and the hat are going to be the same color brown. See? No biggie. Got a little paint where I didn't want it on something that was already painted, and we'll just fix it. Now, given this sculpt um, chest area is small, we're probably going to have to go back with the flesh tones later and fix around the bikini area where... After we paint the bikini. Mm -hmm. I make, n I have no delusions of grandeurs of my skills. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to not make it happen and will be very impressed with myself if I do. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen. We get a bikini color onto the flat, onto the skin, and have to fix it. And like I said, that's okay. Lay her down so we can get more of her back. a little on the hair there but it's not going to be really noticeable if I forget to fix it later or else I would want to fix that now just because of where it is because it is on the underside
This is the first time I've actually seen a sculpt where they had the bikini tied in the back. It's not just a string going all the way around. So, that knot is going to be fun to try to paint around. And it's going to be fun to try to paint. Oh, that's going to be a bit of an area for dry brushing, but that's okay. Now, well, since I mentioned it, now for dry brushing, I just use makeup brushes. Uh, I went and bought these at like five below, set up like five different sizes. These seem to work best for dry brushing as far as I'm concerned. Um... There's no need to spend money on a mini brush, dry brush, because they charge way more than $5 for that. And this way the lovely assistant doesn't get mad at me for using her makeup brushes for painting. Let's see if we can hit some of this hair we missed before. Gonna have to go over that again too, but come see, come saw. But I thought I was done with the first go, but. I see that I missed a little here by the arm. 
Oh, let's go back over here again. Now, things that'll drive you crazy as a painter of minis. Um, oh, God. One of my brush hairs fell off and embedded itself in the midi. So when I was painting, uh, it kicked it up, so I noticed it. Good pair of tweezers is a great freaking tool to use. Not only will this help with basing when you're placing your tufts of grass or anything, you can get stuff like that taken care of. So that's going to be all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, if you like watching me in my quest to become a better mini painter with just one hand, uh, please hit the subscribe button and like the video and go ahead and share it. Have a great day. Bye.